United States Army presents The Big Picture, an official report produced for the armed forces and the American people. Now, to show you part of the big picture, here is Sergeant Stuart Queen. Chemical warfare has come a long, long way since the days of the cavemen, when flame and burning coals were used to drive off the enemy. No thinking person looks on this development with any sense of pride, but rather one of reality. Because today, the threat of large scale chemical, biological, and radiological warfare cannot be ignored. Working up defenses against chemical, biological, and radiological warfare is the responsibility of the Army Chemical Corps, the subject of today's big picture. Our story begins at an airport near the nation's capital, not very long ago. It was shortly before noon when I arrived at Washington Airport. It had been a quick trip. Only a few hours before, I had left the university campus. And now, here I was, ready for the Chemical Corps assignment I had been called down to Washington for. <laughs> 